Good evening, I'm Jeremy Skiba. A historic day in the race for the White House. President Biden dropping out. It's the first time an incumbent president has dropped out in more than 50 years. Biden now endorsing his vice president, Kamala Harris. The process to name a Democratic nominee remains murky. The chairman of the Democratic Party says they still have to announce how the process works moving forward. ABC's Perry Russell is in Washington with the latest. President Biden dropping out of the race for the White House, endorsing his vice president, Kamala Harris. Harris releasing a statement saying her intention is to earn and win this nomination. Some Democratic lawmakers starting to rally behind Harris with their convention weeks away in Chicago. As a delegate, I'll be happy to go back um, to Chicago and support the vice president. My choice is Vice President Harris. Kamala Harris, as our Democratic presidential nominee, is going to bring an X factor. Harris does not automatically become the nominee. Democratic National Committee Chairman Jamie Harrison saying, in short order, the American people will hear from the Democratic Party on next steps and the path forward for the nomination process. Biden dropping out of the race in a statement writing, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. This decision was selfless, and strong, he put the country first. Senator Chris Coons, a close ally and friend of Biden, tearful on CBS. Um, this was a very difficult decision and one that I think reflects the very best of who Joe Biden is. Even as Biden's candidacy began to unravel at the first presidential debate nearly one month ago. If we finally beat Medicare. He remained committed on the campaign trail. I am running and gonna win again. <laughs> The Republican Party already attacking Harris, releasing this video. If you ever wondered how Joe Biden could get the border so screwed up, remember, he had help. <laughs> President Biden says he will address the nation later this week. Still not clear when. He's been at his vacation home in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, recovering from COVID. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.